Hey everyone, SG Caper here, doing something different. So I got to show y'all. Uh, I'm doing something that I learned a long time ago from a guy who used to frequent all the different G.I. Joe boards called Doremo. Uh, the master of making ninja, custom ninja figures and, and ninja accessories. And I'm working, I'm using one of his techniques, so I figured I'd show it to you. I want to make a sheath for this little sword. So what I'm using is a coffee stir, uh, just a regular old coffee stir, and I cut it to be a little longer than the blade, not much. So when the little blade goes in there, I don't think you can see that, but it's a little space at the end. And the next thing I need is a little bit of green stuff. If you've never worked with green stuff before, it's awesome. Uh, I never knew what it was. I mean, I didn't know what it was for a very long time. And one of my friends, I don't remember who, introduced me to it. And I've never looked back. It's basically a two-part epoxy. And you cut the size of, that you need. And then you just work it together until it's green. Because, as you know, yellow and blue make green. Which is why it's called green stuff. Because it's green. So, you work it, make sure it really blends together. And this can be used for everything. This, this stuff is, it dries super hard. Uh, I use it to make push molds of the bunker pant pockets for most of my firefighters. I got tired of buying Cobra eels, not eels, snow serpents. Because those are the pockets I use when I make firefighters. But I learned how to make push molds. And I use green stuff to make them. Anyway. You don't need a lot. You need just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Just enough to fit in the end of your sheath. Something fell behind me. I don't know what it was. And this dries pretty quick. Uh, I, normally I would let this dry completely and then I would paint it. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to dry it. I'm just going to go right to painting it. And there you go. Sword sheath. You can do this for ninja swords, which is what uh, Doremo was using it for. Any kind of sword. Any any sword that will fit in the coffee stir can you can make this into its sheath which i do with i do it a lot less regularly now than i used to uh, but i used to do it a lot and hopefully you picked up something new take it easy